two slides. <coughs> Jimmy mentioned compassion, and that's the reason why we're all here. That's the reason why we are involved in this topic. That's such a brilliant image. And it just, there's not really a lot more needs saying. But I'm going to anyway. <laughs> I hope you can see that at the back. But, and it's slightly it's out of date, it's 2014. But on the top black circle, the red line is the number of asylum seekers, refugees, etc., in the UK as a proportion of the, the population. You struggle to see the red line, don't you? It is not the impression we get from the general press. The second circle, the red line, is what the proportion would be if we took in every Syrian refugee. And the bottom circle, is the proportion of refugees to native population in Jordan. I think it puts things in perspective for us. I have to thank Emma for this one, this image of lives unraveling. We, this morning, we've come from our homes. We've come from places of comfort, We've come from places where we know who we are, we know what our role is. But imagine there was no hope. You had to leave. How your life, you would feel it wasn't just your life unraveling, it's yourself that's unraveling. There's a lovely story about a group of people going to the river for a picnic and seeing a baby floating past. So they being good citizens, dive to the river, pull the baby out, and they've no sooner got a baby out than another one appears, and another one. So that instead of having a picnic, they're bringing babies out to the river until one of them says, who's throwing them in? So they go upstream, and they find that somebody's putting wheelbarrow loads of babies in. And that's our situation. Why are there refugees and asylum seekers coming here? People don't leave home because they don't like home. People leave home because it's unbearable. And I'm ashamed to say that most of the countries that provide us with our new arrivals are places where we've been as Britons before. So to copy the phrase about the Americans, they're over here because we were over there. <coughs> A map to show where people came from in 2015. It's hunger, war, poor government, the reasons why people flee. Getting itself organised. And in a lesser way, 
In Wigan we have swap. In St. Helens we have warm and welcome. So we are getting ourselves organised. And I'm delighted to say that the churches are involved. But if you're a Roman Catholic, we've got a synod coming up in 2020. And the next year, we're going to be asked questions, including the last question is, what's the role of the church in 2020, post-2020? Please say that getting involved with the poor and the marginalised is the key function of the church. But it's an opportunity to speak truth to power. So that one day, the union jack looks like <coughs>